So we'll keep that the same. But what we'd do is this is the contact leg. So we'd have this leg fully extended, nice straight leg. Because if you watch people walk, and that's what tends to happen, they tend to have a fully extended leg. And there we've got the a bit of curl. So if your rig's got it on there, which I think this one does, um, try and get a bit of toe curl on there as well because you get what you're basically getting is on your joints you're getting some drag on those joints that kind of like overlapping action where the foot comes down it hits the floor this bottom bit of the floor, foot here this would hit the floor first and then this would fall you know, about a frame later behind so you get like the like a bit of a toe slap against the uh, against the floor just that overlapping action and then with a little bit of bend on this back leg we have some bend on the back leg there. This here will be off the floor and your joint of the foot curve going on here. And what you really need is some kind of light. You need to differentiate between these pauses as people, as you're walking, what you're tending to do is your hip is there and it's going forward and as you walk forward and raise a leg up the whole body is actually going up higher so heads there hips there this is your body that's your head that was your contact pose So that's going to be probably kind of like a mid pose is your contact pose and then what you're doing is as, this leg. Um, as you're moving forward and then going down and up this head will be either drag will be either left behind like the overlapping action we've talked about before the, is, as you go forward the head's on a pivot So on the contact pose, you'll be looking straight ahead. As the body goes up, so as it lifts up, you'd actually, your chin would come down towards your chest. Just being dragged by gravity, you'd be, you'd be looking down more like that. Not not too excessive, if you do it too much, it just, it just looks over the top. Um, but if you just get a little bit of overlapping action on that head, going like just just bobbing up and down, being pulled down to the chest. If if you're going up, it'd be pulled down to the chest. If you're going down, you'd be leaving your chin behind, basically. So it's just it's thinking about the chin point there, and as you're going down, you'd be leaving that that point behind as the body goes down. So it's that overlapping action. It just just gives a little more believability there. And it's like anything else. Don't give it too much back properly like that you know because this will be a contact pose again which you've almost got a straight leg that's not a bad contact pose to be honest there's a little, maybe a little bit of a bend in there but that will be fine but because it is coming into a contact try and get the toe up on there as well because that doesn't come down straight away that's pretty good and okay, there you've got the heel up there which is good that will probably have a match in like that and with a head mark with a head more like that, so that, that that's looking like a better pose maybe even this leg needs to come back a bit more let's probably just keep this arm down there somewhere and probably just keep this pose as just it, it, it just comes in I don't think we need this exaggerated um, a leg out a 
at this and just facing camera a bit. Just sets off that pose. Um, that will make it probably better. Head shake is make sure we drop the head down in that direction on count of the passing passing point. So if you had a head looking this way, that was the eyes, and then the head's going to look this way. Or even shake or whatever, just if it's going to change direction in that way, what we do with this passing position will be just to tilt the head. So it's looking down, so the eye level is not the same, so you, you get this kind of like sweep. And if you actually do it yourself, if you look left and right, you can probably tell that you have that little dip. It's all to do with the the neck joint and as you so that's your head just give it a again her pose is just off balance again bits moving a lot of bits not moving there locked off totally out of balance pose on this one that is way 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 out of balance not how somebody would lift an object like that even if you were going to stand upright you would stand to lift something heavy like that you would stand a lot closer to the object so she would be stood here bending those knees Crouch down, I should be reaching down for it now like this, but there's no way she's going to lift that from this pose back here. 